Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking the Dreaded D. Rose Report. Start off with happy birthday to former WWF AWA champion Kevin Wasseltz. Who's that? He's 54 years old. That's Nails. Remember Nails? N-A-I-L-Z. And WWE Hall of Famer Rowdy, Roddy Piper, 58 years old. Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he's set to appear in The Hero, a new uh, I don't know, competitive series, uh, reality series, I guess. Uh, looking for, you know, to find the next great hero and uh, reports Variety Magazine. Johnson is the executive producer of the show and is going to be appearing in various incarnations to uh, encourage contestants to be the next hero. Former WWE uh, talent Hurricane Helms, Shane Hurricane Helms, is not a fan of WWE's CM Drunk storyline. Uh, he wrote during Monday's Raw Super Show where uh, Chris Jericho claimed CM Punk was spotted drinking alcohol before defending his title against Mark Henry. He says, I like both Punk and Jericho, but I could care less about the straight edge versus the alcoholic angle. He says, just wrestle. Helms also criticized WWE, uh, their star's bumping ability, and Otunga, geez, he says, you're on TV with the biggest wrestling company in the world. Please learn how to bump, bro. WWE.com take, uh, takes a look back at the 10 best rookie years in WWE and WCW history. Brock Lesnar ranked number one on the list, uh, beating out Goldberg, believe it or not. And uh, Kurt Angle, Andy Undertaker, among others, 10, uh, it was the 10 best rookie years, I guess. I don't think Brock should have beat out Goldberg, but uh, all right. Tracy Brooks, she's confirmed her departure from TNA after her profile was removed from the company's official website over the weekend. She says, yes, it's true. My time with TNA has come to an end. I would say again, Tracy. Uh, but what great time I had. She wrote, love the TNA family and will miss everyone, but I'll be watching every Thursday. Following a one and a half year hiatus though, Brooke returned to the organization last summer to help Velvet Sky out combat uh, ODB and Jacqueline. Uh, she was then made Karen Jarrett's executive assistant and a title uh, she held uh, until Jarrett's on-screen firing you know, happened in December. And Brooke began uh, competing following uh, Thanksgiving, but became inactive a few weeks later and just wasn't used again. Doll. Oh, could at least add her on uh, screen. Bruce Pritchard, TNA Wrestling Senior President of Programming and Talent Relations, returned to work this Saturday as lockdown, and uh, it was the first his uh, first. Uh, it was his first appearance at the event since suffering a uh, pair of recent heart attacks. Uh, FCW uh, star Dean Ambrose back on Twitter bitching, bitching, a bitching, talking about the, the recent blog Mick Foley did. He said, I never actually insulted Mick's dumb, blind wife or his traumatized, ignorant children who think he's a uh, good person. And he says, lost generation. As seen on last night's Raw Super Show, Daniel Bryan has renamed his LaBelle Lock submission move, and now it's called Yes Lock. And if you want to get out of it, you put no unlock on it. TNA is going to be taping uh, Impact Wrestling from uh, Orlando, and uh, I'll let you know spoilers later. F4W Online reports that TNA had, this is kind of sorry, I, I just hate to see, they, they should cringe every time they do a pay-per-view event. You know, elsewhere, but uh, I don't know. It's anyway. They had around 2,000 fans in a 9,000-seat arena in Nashville, Tennessee, on Sunday night for the lockdown pay-per-view. Should have been drawn in a lot more than that. Uh, well, Eric Bischoff, he's written off a of TNA TV uh, at the lockdown pay-per-view because his team lost. Uh, he's still going to be working backstage as top executive for the company. Matches for this week's uh, live event in Florida includes Storm taking on Rude, Joe and Magnus taking on Daniels and Kazarian, Aries taking on Ion and uh, Sky taking on Ken, Hardy taking on Gunner, Morgan and uh, taking on Crimson, and Devon taking on the Bully. Uh, segment between Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair after you've seen uh, Lockdown went longer as 
than plan and uh, caused the re remaining matches on the car to get a little less time. Hogan reportedly went long, uh, longer than he was supposed to on his part of the segment. Uh, of course, Flair took his time too, uh, pitching at the crowd. But see, they have to buy the satellite time, and they only get X amount of time to be able to put all their stuff in, or they, the silent satellite just goes off. Uh, so anyway, they they got to watch their time on that. They'd rather be a little bit short than go over. As noted earlier, WWE sources um, uh, report that women's wrestler Rochelle St. Clair has been offered a deal, and Diva Dirk reports that uh, several tryouts have been taking place overseas this week, where they're at. Pro Wrestling uh, Eve stars uh, Aaron Angel and Carmel, uh, or Carmel Jacobs reportedly had tryouts for uh, uh, Monday's Raw. And Angel, uh, by the way, had tryouts WWE last year and was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Jake the Snake Roberts and TNA star Doug Williams. And as seen on Brock's uh, uh, Lesnar's new ring gear, Lesnar has been allowed to wear clothing that his sponsors, uh, uh, he could put his sponsors on him. Lesnar's team must have renegotiated or negotiated a very unique deal as he is the first person in U.S., uh, U.S., not U.S., but WWE history to be under a WWE contract and have the rights to advertise his sponsors, I guess. Sources uh, reported that uh, WWE has offered women's, uh, well, I didn't tell you about that. Why it's on here twice, but WWE released the following uh, video online promoting Brock Lesnar and John Cena's Extreme Rules contract signing uh, for uh, next week's uh, three-hour Raw. It's on YouTube. Tajiri was trending worldwide on Twitter last night after Lord Tensi spit green mist in John Cena's face. Other terms trending was uh, Fish and Chips, Yes Lock, Abraham Washington, Chief Strong, uh, J. Strong, Bro, Bo, and others. And speaking of Abraham Washington, when we just talking about him, I thought we were. Uh, it appears he's no longer trying to sign Mark Henry. Uh, Abe is going to be uh, pairing, uh, well, he appeared on last night for All Super Show and was scouting uh, the matches with WWE champions Epico and Primo, uh, taking on Big Show and the great colleagues. Since last week's uh, deal, Washington has wrote on Twitter, now his phone is ringing off the hook with talent wanting him uh, to represent them. Duh. Anybody would like to have somebody represent them. Former uh, WCW star uh, Conan recently appeared on the uh, MLW.com podcast about Alberto de Rio, uh, Sinclair, uh, uh, Sinclair, uh, Sinclair uh, Kevin Nash, and racism in um, wrestling, and lots more. Full coverage can be heard on WL, or MWL.com or iTunes. And Conan... Uh, uh, had the following to say about Del Rio wanting to quit WWE before he was called up to the main roster. He says, trainers over at FCW told me that Del Rio came in and he was terrible. And basically, I'm not wanting to make any money here. I'm just uh, going home. My wife is pregnant. I'm out. I'm going back to Mexico. That's what he said in down south. Uh, John Laurinaitis told one of the trainers we're going to be uh, inducting Mil Mascaris to the Hall of Fame and we kind of want someone to induct him. We need to push the Latino guy, just put him on the road and see how he does. Ooh. Some of the behind the scenes stuff we find out about later. And WWE's website posted a video of John Cena being treated uh, by WWE doctors after the green mist of Lord Tensai uh, on Raw last night. And, you know, Kool-Aid does burn your face quite a bit. And uh, the video shows Cena getting his face cleaned off and being helped back to by the officials. And noted earlier, the crowd saying goodbye to, to Cena as he left. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, anyway. WWE officials are very happy with the Brock Lesnar video interview that aired on Raw last night. The video was uh, taped last week. And as uh, Brock is nothing like Raw, uh, The Rock whenever he does uh, promos. Nothing. Can't expect him. Hey, as noted before, the Bella Twins, they were backstage at Raw in London uh, on Monday where we're not used on TV. WWE website posted a video of the Twins backstage being interviewed. Nikki 
talks about uh, deserving a diva title shot and was confronted by the diva uh, Beth Phoenix. And Beth uh, appeared and said she was going to uh, speak with John Laronitis uh, to set up the match. And it sounds like the match may take place on SmackDown this week or on the three-hour Raw next week. A uh, photo of Vince McMahon is featured on the new issue of Game Informer. Vince is shown with uh, one of the writers and his label, A Wrestling Star. That had burnt out. Tickets for WWE's Raw Tour of Brazil is still available. Tickets uh, for May 20th over to the Limit Pay-Per-View in Raleigh, North Carolina are also on sale. Brock Lesnar has been added to the Raw Super Show uh, opening video. Didn't know if you noticed that. All right, there's a word that the bar CM Punk walked into on Raw from London was the Pilot Inn in Greenwich. Uh, about 10 minute walk from the O2 Arena. Many uh, who has been in the pub when uh, Punk and the WWE crew uh, arrived says Punk did not have any fish and chips like they you know, said, but the bar wasn't serving food at that time. Got to come back some other time. WWE's website is playing the angle up and wondering if Punk really went to the bar to get drunk or... Anyway, they promised answers on next week's three hour. I hope it don't take an hour to tell us the answer. Kevin Nash uh, gave props to WWE Champion CM Punk after watching last night's Raw Super Show. He said, I just got done with Raw. Punk needs to keep up, uh, keep the belt at least until next May. The fan replied that uh, WWE would never have anyone hold the WWE title for that long. Nash replied, of course on Twitter, what is old is now new. Let him have that love affair uh, with the fans and, you know, pat, you know, pat him and see... Uh, you know, him get the, the get beat, make it an epic, make it a heel. Evan Bourne is still on crutches, by the way, after breaking his foot in several places last, uh, well, it's been more than, it's been weeks ago. Bourne wrote, said, get very good uh, at hopping around on one foot. Friends report, uh, uh, friends report my crutches uh, skill are about eight out of ten. Making a light of it. Hope he comes back. Bella Twins, uh, they were backstage at the Super Show, not on use it. Anyway, they were scheduled for the London taping, but uh, no word why they weren't used. Reportedly filmed a segment for uh, the website, which I was telling you about. Match is confirmed for the show uh, that uh, is going to be the oh, hardcore reunion thing. It's going to be Sabu taking on uh, Shane Douglas, Justin Cribble versus Jerry Lynn, Al Snow taking on C.W. Anderson, Balls Mahoney taking on Axel Rotten, the BWO versus the FBI, and Raven versus Pitbull Gary Wolf. Other talent's going to be used. It's going to be Too Cold Star Scorpio, Joel Gertner, uh, the Sandman, New Jack Mustafa, and some surprises. New talent will uh, also debut. Uh, that's going to be working the promotion in the future. Extreme uh, Reunion, I guess that's what it is, Hardcore Reunion, it was Extreme Reunion, my fault. We'll be using the original ECW ring announcers, Bob uh, Artis and uh, Steven DeAngelis, as well as referees uh, Mike uh, Herner and oh, John Finnegan. And Ronnie Lang's Atlas Securities will be doing the uh, security, whatever use they are. Uh, Daniel Bryan spoke uh, with Huffington Post about his deci decision to become a vegan, which I'm going to skip right over. We care nothing about that, I think. The Miz has been telling fans on Twitter, be patient when he uh, when they complain about uh, he's being used on Raw each week. A fan com commented about Miz wasn't on Raw this week, and he replied, Miz fits like uh, GRN once saying, all we need is a, just a little patience. Anyway, as seen on last night's Raw, Daniel Bryant has renamed the, the LaBelle Lock, and uh, WWE issued a press release Monday touting their uh, debut in Moscow, Russia on April 11th. WWE reportedly had 6,000 fans attend the show. Triple H was quoted. The response from our fans in Moscow uh, was overwhelming, and WWE is proud to have been a, you know, established such a loyal fan base in Russia. And in a little over a year, so we all, uh, we all look forward to returning again in the near future and delivering a even bigger experience for you fans. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.